Hello everyone. Here we are going to discuss about the chapter Animal Kingdom, and the first topic is the characteristics of animals, which includes body organization, germ layers, coelom, difference between protostomia and deuterostomia, the body plans, the planes of symmetry, and the planes in which a body can be cut to study it internally, the body segmentation and metamorphism, cephalization and appendages, body temperature. That is poikilothermic and homeothermic, and sex. That is monoecious, dioecious, unisexual, bisexual, etc. So, in the coming few videos, we are going to study this in detail. Okay, so let's start with body organization. Let's say that you are going to live uh, with a stranger. Okay, your roommate, or where you are living, your roommate is a stranger now. He, he has newly arrived. So, since you don't know him very well. Therefore, in the first few days, you are not going to um, uh, share with him and treat him very friendly, right? Because uh, it takes time to get develop an understanding. Okay, so therefore, you will remain different from them. A little while afterwards, normally what happens is that um, uh, due to because you are staying in the same room, that's why uh, um, gradually there develops an understanding between you and the stranger so that's be and therefore you start talking with him you start and even even you get more accust accustomed you uh, and more friendly you may divide the work between you and your uh, your roommate okay depending on who can do which work better so then if we do if you do like this then what will happen is that the work will get finished faster and also the work will be better okay done better so that's the same thing which happens in case of animals also or cells also so what happens is that let's say millions of years back there were only unicellular organisms so there were scattered cells here and there and they were living and normally they were they are all aquatic so let's say there are so many cells now gradually and this gradually is very 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 gradually that means um, thousands of years right so these cells formed a colony okay so they just lived together okay and started a colony forming a colony so what happened is that the cells came close together and living together okay just like just like uh, when you and your the roommate who is stranger till now to you is living with you okay so just like that so these type of cells started aggregating and forming a cell aggregate or a colony now till now uh, this form is actually a multicellular form right so this is a multicellular structure Yes, it is a multicellular structure. It is composed of many cells. So, but still, it is not a, a living organism right now because it is a structure composed of several different separate living organisms, not a one living organism. Okay. Now, what happened is that as the relationship grew, grew further and their understanding grew further, the cell started specializing and differentiating. So, therefore, Let's say that this cell over here can perform one task very well. That is, let's say the task of photosynthesis. So therefore, it started performing photosynthesis. On the other hand, these cells, okay. So let's say these cells can perform the task of protection very well. So it can protect this cell. So then it performed the task of protection outside and then formed a layer outside this cell. So let's say a few more cells of protection over here. Okay, so like this, the cells started specializing. Now see, if they started specializing very earlier or very before, and then some type of betrayal happened, then this uh, cell has made itself to perform the only function of photosynthesis. So uh, if there now this cell is left alone and these cells are not supporting it, then what will happen? This cell will die because it has no protection. Similarly, if this cells this cell is also left alone therefore this cell will also not be able to survive because this cell cannot perform uh, cannot perform photosynthesis and therefore cannot 
it will starve to death right so therefore this mutual understanding develop uh, takes time to develop okay and once it is developed what happens is that this structure is more efficient because this cell is good at performing photosynthesis and it is performing the sole task of photosynthesis and this cells these cells are performing the sole task of protection okay so that was an example i hope that i made the point clear so like that what happened is that the cells uh, at first what was there the cells were were all similar okay and afterwards what happened is that the cells started differentiating so different types of cells are formed and this is the case in porifera the sponges we will study about them in later uh, in later videos okay so that's what is called uh th that is the cellular level of organization so it composes of two two categories one is all the cells are similar like in volvox and the other is that the cells are a little bit different and performing different functions okay but still it is a cellular level of classification now what ar ar arises is that many such group will be there like the similar way many such group will be there so let's say i copy and paste it not only one group is formed like this may maybe some other group is also formed okay in some other place and they will then come close together and this is the formation of tissues okay now they all can survive without the help of each other because they are each living units but then one tissue started performing the a uh, particular function and when all one whole tissue started performing one particular function or devoted itself to one particular function obviously the function or the task was performed a lot more efficiently a lot more better and therefore when this type of thing happened that is the tissue level of organization the complexity increased and also increased is the efficiency to perform so that's how evolved the organ organ level of cl classification organ system and what we are now that is our body composed of many organ systems so that's how it evolved okay now let us look at the powerpoint again so uh, i just talked about the analogy that is mutual understanding and trust between the cells that's what forms different body organization so first of all the protoplasmic or molecular chemic molecule or molecular or chemical level of organization that is protozoa only one single cells and the interaction is between the organelles in in the cells so they are performing one particular job so they are denoting uh, devoted to perform one particular job that is the organelles inside the cell and when it becomes the cellular level of organization what happens is the whole cell becomes devoted to perform a particular job and that's of two types as you can see over here the colony level and the aggregate level colony level the cells are similar so they have not been perfectly accustomed to each other so therefore they are not getting very much differentiated but they are aggregating so that's the example is volvox and aggregate level so that is cells are different and they are starting to differentiate that is the sponges and like this what will happen is that the tissue level of classification that is the multicellular and tissues are formed so all those aggregates are, co are coming close to each other and then taking one particular function then the organ level like that so here the examples is cilantrates okay like hydra here is the platyhelminthes flatworms okay in the organ system level we have ascelminthes two mammals all have organ system level of um organization body organization and now you can just for fun extend it further like we are a individual but but what happens in an organization that is we perform uh, a group of individual perform a particular job another group of individual performs a particular job and therefore a organization or a, a factory works like that okay so this is prevalent everywhere and similar is the case for an ecosystem individual then ecosystem then biome then landscape and you can extend it further so that's what happens and the complexity increases and the efficiency also increases and therefore we evolve so i hope i got this idea clear okay so next video we will we will be going to talk about germ layers okay so thanks and bye